without a doubt, without a motherfucking doubt, our biggest problem as humans is the fact that we think and we believe one day we will never have any. The problems will always be there. These negative aspects of life will always be there. And if we try to wish them away, we never solve them. We need to have those fail safes. That's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing right here. I'm giving you these fucking mindset tactics, these fail safes to combat these problems. And that's why I shared that the other day. Explanations. Friends don't need them. Enemies won't believe them. These are fail safes. We need these. We need these daily to combat our problems. I have a massive problem with trying to understand why people are the way they are. So then I have to just go back to the universe is built by contrast. Nothing exists in this universe except by contrast. So if, if I want positivity, I have to accept that negativity can only exist by contrast. So there has to be both and it will always exist. Don't try to unmake it or you cause that rift I talked about. That inner rift where you're trying to fight something with your mind, your heart knows is a lie. These things will always exist. So how do we, how do we combat negativity from others? It's easy. Look within and realize how you felt in your heart <clears throat> those days you were being super negative to someone or you felt super negative. Remember how you felt. You felt like shit, right? It was really miserable. So you have to flip the shoe around and have compassion for that negative person. They're miserable. So for you to win in that situation, you have to selflessly wish that miserable fuck growth. You have to be there for them. This is how you combat negativity. You flip it. The realest, the realest, the absolute realest fucking shit in the world is that nobody who's doing more than you will ever hate on you. So are they really hating? Or do they just want you to save them? I think you know the answer. One of the most common questions I get asked, it's every day, Wes, what do you do when someone tests you? What do you do when someone fronts on you? What do you do when someone tries to fight you? What do you do when someone gets up in your motherfucking shit, Wes? And I tell them, man, I talk them out of it. I'm always preaching how much more it means to overcome. So if, if you can be threatened in that way and still get the outcome for both people by telling the motherfucker, hey, we both don't want this. We're both going down the wrong road right now. You know where this ends. If you can pull that off, you're at a massively high level. Massively high level of emotional maturity, just overall growth and understanding. Do that shit. So simply, validation comes from self. It, it does not come from elsewhere. So when, when someone tests you, you're basically seeking validation from another man to prove to him that you're something that he's saying you're not. Never seek validation from others. Seek validation from within. Set tasks for yourself, pull them off, and then over time, you know your worth through objective optimism and validating tasks. So basically, this, this daily grind, this dedication, this commitment, this discipline, this is tough. This is hard. Falling victim to that moment and seeking validation from that man you supposedly don't care about to whoop his ass that is falling victim to feelings. That's what we don't do. Pros live a life based on commitment. Little baby bitches live a life based on their fucking feelers. Have a good day. Get your feelings out the way. Unless it's holding your dog or hugging your loved ones. Those are good feelings. That shit that keeps you from your goals. Bitch ass shit. <laughs>